So, guess what I get to do today? I'm going to go get my passport. Never got my passport. I've been out of the country into Mexico oh, a dozen times, literally a dozen, two dozen times. And I went to Canada once. Um, Mexico deal, I just crossed the border. And back then, you didn't have to have a passport to, to cross over. And hell, I don't know if you need a passport now, but just went over to the border town to cause trouble when in my teenage years, or late teens, early 20s, I guess, and then decided that was a bad idea when I heard on the news that there was like 19 people decapitated. I figured partying in Laredo is probably not the right place to go at that point. But, oh, and the one time in Canada was uh, when I was up in Detroit, Michigan, living there, I, I went across the border over to Windsor, but then made a U-turn and came back just to say, hey, I've been in Canada. I saw a lady walking around with no shirt on. That was pretty weird because it was like October and I think it was like 30 degrees or something like that. I guess I guess that's how they uh, they signal that they're uh, they're working that night. I can't talk about the reason I'm getting my passport. I can just tell you that there's another company that I'm hopefully going to start doing business with and promotional stuff for. A company that I sought, I contacted, I wanted their business basically. Um, man, why is that thing? It's all off level. I contacted them and then they wrote me back and they said, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, wow, cool. So it involves getting sent all over the U.S. and the planet, uh, potentially, if everything comes to fruition. But once it, once I get the okay, I've got to sign some uh, non-disclosures and stuff like that. And then once they give me the approval to talk about it, then I'll talk about it. But until that point, until that time, you guys just have to speculate what it is, I guess. Uh, and... Now I'm heading to go get my pish port. Hey, something else I want to talk to you guys about is uh, uh, I figured out. So some of you know that have been following my channel for a while that YouTube has been going through and every time I upload a video, they demonetize it. And it's slight, I mean, it's annoying, you know, because one of the reasons I make YouTube videos is specifically to make money off the, the views, you know? I mean, that's compensates me for my time. I make pretty decent off of it and everything. And so to date, I haven't really been that upset about it. And I'm still not that upset about it, you know? I mean, I can't, I can't do nothing about it kind of deal. But every time I upload a video, within about five or six hours, they demonetize it. And then they take another 12 to 24 hours to remonetize it. And so like my most recent video that I did, yeah, a couple days ago was the water heater one. It's titled, uh, Will I Ever Get This Dozer Fixed? They demonetized that one and then they demonetized it when it had 15,000 views and they remonetized it when it had 21,000 views. So it was about 6,000 views, which isn't that much. I mean, you're getting like two or three dollars per 3,000 views or something like that, you know? So 21, 25 bucks on that one. So I've been tracking it. I, I, I really wanted to see, I've been tracking it and I wanted to see how much money it's actually cost me from them demonetizing my videos, you know, in, incorrectly demonetizing my videos. It's their algorithm that's that's messing the deal up. It, it's not somebody at YouTube that's actually doing the, um, woo, actually doing it themselves. They're not going, you know, specifically into watching my videos demonetized. The algorithm picks something up in my videos. I don't know what, it doesn't like it. it. It says it's not suitable for advertisers. Then I file for a manual review. It gets a manual review. And so far, every video other than one video they've remonetized. The only one they didn't, they demonetized and kept that way was my version of the Tide Pod Challenge. When I don't even eat the damn Tide Pod, I do laundry with it. And apparently that's against their rules. And, and I kind of get it. I mean. They can't go through every single Tide Pod Challenge video, whatever. I'm not that upset about that one. But in the last year, 12 months making videos, which is about 30 videos, I think, 30, 25 or 30, them demonetizing those videos and other videos on my channel, according to what I figured out, has cost me about $1,200 so far that I could have gotten paid for on those views and I didn't get paid for because of their, their system. So... All these other YouTubers that you're watching, you know, especially the guys that have, you know, a lot bigger channels than mine, 
I mean, that's costing these guys a lot of money, you know. I mean, if they think about it, if you get 50, let's say your first day you get 50,000 views, they demonetize it, and you're out 50, 60,000 views before they remonetize it. Over, over the course of a year, you're talking 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars. And if you're up in the millions of subscribers and views, you're talking, you know, a lot of money, you know, uh, 20, 30, 50 grand, uh, which is, you know, I don't care who you are, that's a big chunk of change, but. So anyway, FYI, yeah, they, it's cost me about 1200 bucks so far, so that's why I've been uh, more actively trying to get uh, people to donate to my Patreon account. Um, that's why I started doing these uh, the shirts and the decals and trying to figure out other ways to, to make money off YouTube because, like I said, I don't. It, it bothers me that, you know, like anybody, if, if somebody came into your job, you know, that you were at and then they just said, decided not to pay you for a eight hours worth of work systematically. It's like, ah, we're not paying you for that day. You know, it's, man, why did I work that? But, you know, it is what it is kind of deal. So, you guys that don't know what Patreon is, Patreon is a separate website. It's not, it has nothing to do with YouTube. You get on there, you click, there's a, my Patreon link's down below in the details. You go over to Patreon, uh, you, and you select a donation. You can donate a dollar a month, or you can donate up to as much as you want, you know, uh, $500, I think, or $1,000 or something, which nobody's going to uh, donate that much a month. But So you get over there, let's say it's $3 a month, $5 a month. It comes out of your account every month that charges you for that $3, and then I get like, I think, 90% of that or something, and they take 5 or 10% or whatever for processing. But the 5 or 10% comes out you know, on my end, and I, I, you know, I prefer it like that. You guys don't need to be uh, charge, you know, you're, you're trying to help out a challenge. Y'all shouldn't be the one charged for it. It's your, your money. I am going to start doing some giveaways, some tool reviews and giveaways on it. Just so you know, I'm going to start buying tools. I'm going to do the videos. I'm going to release the videos on here on YouTube, but only my active patrons, my, my active patrons are the only ones that are going to be able to one, be randomly selected to receive the tools that I review. And two, be part of the process of choosing new tools. Just kind of like, kind of like what Chucky2009 does on his same thing. Get over there, check out my Teespring account if you want to do the Patreon and then uh, donate Patreon. I really appreciate it. Gonna start doing some uh, exclusive stuff for the patrons. And uh, if that's not your cup of tea, then and just keep watching. Um, you can watch the videos. You know, I mean, uh, if you do have the ad block stuff on, then obviously that blocks all of the ad revenue that I can generate off the videos. So if you disable the ad block while you're watching my videos and I'll get uh, a little bit on, uh, sometimes I'll get paid for the advertisement on that. If not, then uh, just keep watching the videos. You know, I mean, I don't expect every single person out there to donate money or buy t-shirts or anything like that. You know, I mean, I'll still put the content up, but yeah, get over there. If you guys want to get you a shirt, get you a decal, donate to the Patreon or click the Amazon links down below and buy something that you would have bought anyway and I get proceeds off that. So that's why that I do it because um, YouTube is, man, they're just, it's it's they, it's such a massive, massive platform. There's 400 hours of video uploaded every single minute on YouTube. I think it's every, I think it's 400 hours of content every minute right now, which is insane. There's just no way they did they they just cannot actually keep up with that much information. So and, and it, they have to make the best platform they can make for you know to, for advertisers. That's how YouTube makes their money to keep the doors open, kind of deal. But I don't blame them for a lot of this stuff. It's just frustrating, and hopefully it gets better. <sighs> I'm going to rant about why I I don't work for a municipality anymore. I used to work for a um, uh, city of Fort Worth and dealing with the city and municipality one, it, it, it made, it just frustrated the holy crap out of me about the stuff that they let go on um, there. The ad, just a general attitude of a lot of people there. And it's just a, it's like a, it breeds laziness and like it rewards incompetence on stuff. And I'm not, not knocking the mechanics that I work with. I mean, the, the guys that are mechanics that I work with, they, you know, they were good mechanics and everything. I mean, there was a lot of good guys there, but just the politics of it and the general ways of doing things frustrates the hell out of me. So I just went to Uvalde County Courthouse <clears throat> to get passport. So I've already been there once today. I showed up about an hour ago. The, the courthouse is about an hour from my house, hour and a half. So I showed up with the paperwork, 
with my brand new photo that I got from uh, got made uh, got made today. I already had all the paperwork that I needed, I thought, and I said, oh, well, you need your birth certificate. I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot, okay. So I run home, takes me an hour to get there, get my birth certificate, hour back, show up, fantastic. It's like 3.20, plenty of time. So I show up, I set it down, she's like, oh, you gotta have $110 money order and $20 cash. I'm like, why do I have to have $120 money order and, I mean, can't you just take a check? Nope, like, well, why did, okay, so what time do you guys close? Oh, well, we already sealed the envelope for the passports today, so you're gonna have to do it tomorrow. And it's like, well, can I just fill out the paperwork and give you this stuff today and you can put it in the envelope tomorrow? Oh, no, they can't sit here overnight. So, well, can you wait for about, you know, reopen the envelope or whatever and wait for about 30 minutes? No, no, we can't do that. When I was here <laughs> two hours ago, an hour and a half ago, do you think maybe you could have told, you know, made sure I had, you know, reminded me or something saying, hey, you know, we, we also need a $110 money order and a $20 cash uh, to, to process this. She's like, no, you're supposed to have that stuff. Doesn't say anywhere on the paperwork you got to have a $110 money order or $20 cash on it. I don't know what the $20 cash is, a processing fee or, or whatever, but extremely annoying and that's a, the, the problem I have like dealing with any kind of municipality any kind of government deal is n there's not a rush on anything no one ever gets in a rush no one ever it's not important to usually the people I deal with it's just not important to them to get certain to, to serve with you that day you know it just doesn't make a, a crap if you need a permit you need some information you need some fill out some pa you know, paperwork or something it seems like every time like I, I go like getting the vehicle registered or something, come up, oh well you need this. Okay, well can I get that today? No, I'm about to go on lunch, so uh, I'm just not gonna do, you know, we don't we don't do processing for the rest of it. And it's always just it's always something. It drives me insane. It's like they have no time frame and and and, and ugh, I'm sure you guys have dealt with municipalities too and had the same frustration. It's just the mentality is completely different than any other company I've ever dealt with. And I and I get it, it's legal stuff. It's all legal documents that have to be done a certain way. <laughs> But to me, there, there, there's just certain things that they could do to help you with that. When you walk, like I could have walked in and said, oh, well, you got to have your birth certificate. Ah, oh, crap. She could have just right then said, uh, just so you know, you need to have $110 uh, money order and $20 cash. And we seal the envelope at pretty much whenever we decide to. So we're going to seal it at 320 today. And if you don't get it here, then you have to come back tomorrow. At that point, I'm like, oh, I'll just come back tomorrow morning. I won't make the return trip. So now I have to make the, the, the trip again tomorrow. And hopefully they didn't, I don't know, it'll be something else. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be a, we didn't post, we don't have postage on when Thursdays because Thursdays is a, starts with a T or something, but, ah, uh, frustration over. I'm going to get some coffee. Oh, well, that was a complete day wasted. Absolutely. 100%. Um, see my dog out there. <laughs> the other neighbor dogs from over in that direction. They run up on my property and he chases them off. And it's funny this morning, I saw him, uh, uh, I dropped the kids off, went and worked out, came back. When I was coming back, uh, there's a smaller dog and the smaller dog was taking off running past the truck. Well, as soon as I pulled up in the driveway up here, I looked on the porch and my Doberman saw me and he took off just beelining for that area, that, that other dog's behind me. Gonna come rescue me, I guess. So as soon as he comes back, like I see him back there and he jumps up and just slaps that dog <laughs> into the ground. 105 pound Doberman versus like a 30 pound little Datsun. But anyway, um, so yeah, that was a complete waste of time today. I gotta go back tomorrow, so I'm getting nothing done. So today's kind of just like a vlog, no no repair on anything. Other updates, you guys, I'm gonna do, I start doing live streams on Friday afternoon at seven o'clock. I'm planning on having a live stream every Friday at seven o'clock. As long as I'm not driving or flying, I'm gonna do the best I can to get the live streams up Friday, 7 p.m. Now, 7 p.m. comes out and you get on my channel and there's no live stream, just, just realize that something came up. I'm in the middle of something somewhere doing something that I can't do a live stream for. I'm gonna start at seven o'clock, see if that's a good time for everybody, good time for me. I wanna do it Friday afternoon. I don't wanna do it a little earlier because if I do it earlier, then you know some people eat dinner and I know it's seven, seven o'clock, some people eat dinner. So anyway, we're, we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. So if you wanna be on a live stream, it's, um, I don't know, it's gonna be kind of an open forum. You guys wanna ask questions, or you got something particular you wanna talk about, let me know. On the other deal, like I said earlier in the video, check out the Teespring um, uh, deal down here, the link down in there. 
check it out. If you like one of the shirts, order them. Order as many as you can. Uh, get it spread out. If you want a decal or a sticker, go ahead and order it. Now, I have not gotten my hands on the, the, the stickers. I don't know the quality of them. I'm assuming everything's going to be fine. I uploaded a, a decent enough image and it's you can read the stuff on it, I'm, I'm assuming. So get that. If you guys do get the sticker or a t-shirt, send me some pictures of you guys. Send me on Instagram. I've got an Instagram link down in the, the, uh, the description box or my Facebook, Stephen Cox YouTube on Facebook. Send that stuff to me. I want to see you guys, you know, wearing it and like wearing it at work or putting it on your toolbox or... You know, like I said, if you want to stick it on your wife and show it to me, go ahead, I guess, as long as it's, uh, as long as she ain't naked. Check out the links in the description. Oh, and uh, Patreon. If you guys want to be part of the tool giveaway, you got to get on Patreon. I'm going to film a Patreon video tomorrow. I'm going to, I've got two, or er, I've got three boroscopes. I accidentally ordered uh, a third one. Uh, I've got two of the same one, one, uh, the other one, a uh, different one. I got two, I think one Wi-Fi and then two corded ones. I'm going to pick a patron to win those after I do the reviews on them and mail them to you. So if you want to be part of that, you got to be a patron. So tonight, you got to get on Patreon to donate tonight. Tomorrow, after the video, before the video, I'm already going to have the people selected. So you see the video comes up and it says uh, Patreon Boroscope uh, review. It's too late for you. But there's going to be more. I am going to have more stuff, but I need... I'm starting this whole deal off with the, the boroscopes. And after that, all the patrons, I'm gonna take suggestions. I'm gonna take the top, you know, five suggestions, whatever I suggested that hour, I'm gonna put it in a poll. Those four or five options, people are gonna vote on a poll and whichever part of the, whichever one of the poll wins, that's what I'm gonna buy. Now I got I have a budget, you know, and it'll be, get over to Patreon, you'll, you'll figure it out. But I appreciate you guys watching. Oh, the other update, I'm moving next week, next Friday, it's the last day in this house. So move date, I'm renting the truck. Sorry, I got a text message. And so Friday, last day in his house, last day I'm gonna be on his property, hopefully. I might have to come back to the property because the property is still up for sale, still haven't sold it. Moving trucks here on Friday, we load it up on Saturday. I get to Stephenville on Sunday, we unload the truck and I'll probably upload a video maybe Monday or Tuesday as long as my stupid internet up there works. It's crazy. The house way out here in Utopia has better internet than my house in Stephenville. You know, city of Stephenville's got like 60,000 people in it and I got like five megabits per second or some crap from CenturyLink, but I might have to just sneak over to Starbucks or something to use their Wi-Fi. But I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for sticking with the channel. I hope to have more um, uh, me and Chucky videos. Chucky and I are coming up with a, um, a little road trip here pretty soon to the SV Seeker project next uh, in two weeks, as a matter of fact. And I've got a bunch of other stuff brewing in the background. Like I said, I got the one big update I can't really talk about, but uh, put your best guesstimate down below. Anyway, hit that like button, throw a comment down here, and subscribe and get out and fix something.